Hello everybody, Nathaniel from RC Insight here and today I'm bringing you my first ever LEGO review. I'm reviewing LEGO City Set 60071 Hovercraft Arrest. It retails for $45 US, $44.99 and comes with three instruction books and three minifigures. So I will take a look at these minifigures. As you can see we have two, one policeman and two robbers. We'll take a look at the policeman first. This is the new style policeman for the new Swamp Police. He has his police badge and a walkie-talkie on the front there, as well as two pouches and a belt. If you look at the back, he does have a little bit of back printing as well. He's got some utilities on his belt as well as the newer style hat with the hole in the top where you can fit the headphones in as well as the nice little smiley face, very traditional face. Then we look at our female crook here. She has the crook type sweater jersey thing as well as a necklace which is kind of unique and on the back she still has, she also has the crook stripes. She has the light blue pants as opposed to the police officer who has dark blue pants and the traditional police or the traditional woman face. She does have a nice red colored hairstyle that I have not seen before though. And then finally we have our very angry country looking crook wearing the overalls and blue jeans. He's got the big mustache like he's getting ready for the hockey playoffs. He's got the black beanie and he's got a hot dog on a stick. If you look at the back he has the overall finish. You can see the beard is an attached piece and if you come back to the front he's got a red beard smiley face type you know style. He also I just noticed has a some type of tooth. I think he's missing a tooth. So, if we come over to our set now, we get three pieces. We get the hovercraft itself, which is a very, very nice piece. I like it a lot, personally. I like the big turbines at the back. That's a nice, nice addition. Very nice addition. As well as the two police lights here. Lightweight, easy build. Um comes with the windshield to keep the water out. You can see two crooks or a policeman and a crook or whatever is going to be on it. It also has some handcuffs and a walkie-talkie and some flashlights at the front. So very, very nice build. Does not float. Easy, easy to make. And it looks, it just looks slick and stylish and that's what I like about it. It also has the police 06 sticker at the front. Moving on to our next piece here, we've got our truck, traditional type truck in a sense, and yet in a sense it's not. As you can see down here, we've got the treads on three wheels for the muddy terrain. It has kind of a Jeep look, a little rustic look, and it also has an axe on the side and a crowbar on the other side as well as the nice heavy duty lights at the top for nighttime driving. You can see in the back it's got a loot chest and all the sides on the trunk fold out. You can also lift up the roof and insert your lady driver in the seat. It comes with the steering wheel, kind of very traditional interior for a truck of just any sorts in Lego. It does lose its money apparently. It does um, move very well, surprisingly in my opinion, based on the fact that it does have those treads, but nonetheless it does move well and that's a nice feature. There are no doors to open up for this one, but it does have some nice style. And then moving on to the final piece of this set, you have the Crooks hideout. This is my first ever Crooks hideout. And I have a very big collection of LEGO City, at least 70 models. So 
So for this being my first Crooks hideout, based on how much police I have, it's a little bit ridiculous how much police I have, this being my first Crooks hideout. I was very happy with my buy, and I must say I'm very pleased with this hideout as well. As you can see on the front, these boards are printed stickers. It's also a sticker over here on your hovercraft, and there's a license on the front and back of your Jeep that are stickers. But these boards are stickers, the roof there is a sticker. And that's all as, it goes, as far as it goes for stickers, but this is a extremely, extremely nice set. It comes with four bags, and I really, really like the dark green color leaves. I do like the dark blue police color, but I really like these dark green color leaves and the swampy look that this hideout has, as well as the old look that the up top has. As you can see at the back, you've got a little area to store your loot chest underneath the ladder there. Um, you also have a little area for the crooks here to hang out. you got, you know, a frying pan and a grill with a cup and obviously a light just in case you need to see at night. So very, very cool set. Very much like it. Comes with these three components here. Hovercraft arrests, 331 pieces. Definitely a good buy. I you, There's a lot of play options with this, and it's easy to build. It's broken into three models, and it's probably one of my favorite LEGO City sets I have. I don't think it quite best the town square, but it, it's up there. So, I hope you guys found this review useful. Thanks for watching, and check in often for more LEGO City reviews. Bye-bye.